The Mixed Mornings and More podcast with Steph and Sean. Now available daily. Good morning, world. Good morning and happy Wednesday. It's <laughs> June 22nd. I somehow forget where I look at the date on my monitor. Like almost every day. I'm like, okay, where do I find it here? I was really thinking that you were about to be like happy Friday because that's usually the reception we give a Friday. <laughs> and so I was just like, uh oh, Sean, I hate to break it to you, but <laughs> it's it's not yet the weekend. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're we're back in the in the groove though, 5 30 right now. How the heck are you? <laughs> I um, can't believe yesterday the clouds rolled in around what, like seven o'clock? Yeah, late at night. Yeah, and it looked like it was going to rain. Mm-hmm. My husband and I were actually loading up our canoe to go for a paddle. Mm. And he was like, should we go? What is the weather thing? And I was like, it has a high risk of a thunderstorm warning. <laughs> um, but it was like, well, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Then it'll be a waste of an evening. So we still put the canoe on top of the uh, car and went down to the sny. About two hours later, I get a notification on my phone that says, thunderstorm canceled. Oh. It doesn't say thunderstorm warning canceled or like perhaps the no- thunderstorm notification is canceled. No, the thunderstorm has been canceled. <laughs> it's like, wow, you've got a lot of power, weather app. <laughs> <It's> impressive. <laughs> what about nitpicky you were? It's just like, it didn't say the thunderstorm. It just said thunderstorm. Okay, you know what? It didn't I say th- the warning was canceled. <laughs> it said just thunderstorm. I felt like they were the authority of the weather and they were like, never. Never mind. We've canceled it for today. Enjoy solstice. It's they all didn't good. even capitalize thunder. <laughs> like, are you still avoiding that roundabout that kind of connects uh, Confed to Stony Creek to Eagle Ridge? That big circle just behind us here. Absolutely. You are. Yeah, I haven't gone through that roundabout in what six months at oh least my. since it was made, and I almost got hit by a car once. I was like, you know what? There are other ways to get through this. I'm going to take a detour. Much needed every time. <laughs> I use it almost every day, and they just added uh, some new painted directions on the road. I think so people can better hopefully understand how to use the darn thing hopefully how do you feel about the directions do you think that they are uh easy to understand and do you feel like you've been using the roundabout correctly as per the directions uh yes to all the above (laughs) (laughs) but that's because i think i know i'm used to them and i know how to use them but i think a lot of people are just like so many people like switching lanes in the roundabout and you're just not supposed to use that no one like hardly anyone well, this is just for normal driving, never use their signal lights. And they definitely don't use their signal lights when entering and exiting the roundabout either. But the, the they're just painted directions. Basically, if you're on the outside lane, you have the immediate option to just take your first right or drive straight through. Yeah. On the inside lane, you can't turn right right away. <laughs> so it doesn't have that. You can drive straight through or you can wrap all the way around. And yeah. it's just an added instruction. I still feel like, though, that's so much to think about when you're entering the roundabout, and especially like the the painted things on the ground. I, I'm continuing to avoid this roundabout, even though the instructions are there, because I feel like I'll be looking down at the arrow, and then I'll drive over top of it and be like, shoot, what were the instructions again? Oh, my goodness. What do you do at a traffic light when you're like, there's green, there's yellow, okay. there's red. Oh, now, now my eyes are all over the place. <laughs> Bought a canoe off Facebook Marketplace the other day, and I said to my husband last night, hey, let's take this new thing for a spin. <laughs> mm, a solstice day, lovely day to do it. Yeah, why wouldn't ya? Um, so we put the canoe on top of the car, threw our life jackets in, and then realized, wait a second, we're kayakers, and we need different paddles for this canoe. Does it matter? Yeah, because a kayak, like, I mean has a long paddle with two ends and a canoe you have that nice um handle at the top right to just paddle with one side yeah mm-hmm. it matters uh, even like you have different shapes on the bottom of your canoe paddle based on how fast you want to go or what kind of turns you're going to be doing wow, like, the intricacies yes yes you could you could go down a google rabbit hole with all the things <laughs> about it i was just thinking you could just use one side uh yeah, I don't think that'd be very comfortable. Oh uh, yeah, comfort comfort level. <laughs> comfort level when you're already in a canoe that doesn't have a backrest, like kayaking far superior. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so we go. But of course, it is solstice, so it's much lighter than normal. You it know, tricks you. It does. So we were like, oh, let's uh, let's just go buy some paddles at the outdoor store. Didn't realize they were going to be closed already. Uh late at night. Yeah, it was. It was like a. Seven something, but they close early on on a Monday, Tuesday. Right. But I was like, okay. So then we tried 
Walmart and then we tried Canadian Tire and nobody sells paddles. Oh, no. <laughs> so we just had this sad canoe sitting on top of the car with this grand plan to go canoeing and no way to do it. And you, you just didn't want to like just tough it out with the, the, the other paddles? Oh, well, we were already downtown. We'd already left our house. Like mm. It was like, are we going to drive all the way Sounds back? Sounds just like you're, you're not dedicated to the, to the grind of going for a canoe. You know what? Right after work, <laughs> I'm going to go to the outdoor store. I'm going to buy some paddles. And I'll try again tonight. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> 90 Day Fiance. What a series it is. <laughs> series is a good word. Oh, there's, a, there's a lot of episodes of that show. Okay, so I, I scrolled across a, a tweet the other day and it was just saying their casting director is looking to tell uh, different stories within the series and they, they're looking for trans couples, deaf or blind couples, teenage couples, a very tall couple, what? and an octogenarian couple. They <laughs> want to tell their stories through 90 Day Fiance. Okay. And then so I got looking into it more. I'm just like, okay, like I've heard about this show. I've never watched it. I've never really even read about it. I don't even know like really what it's all about. It turns out 90 Day Fiance is its own entire beast of a, of a world. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's on TLC, but they could absolutely just have their own channel. They have so many spinoffs. Apparently, of it. 16 different style of spinoffs. Now, you've tuned into it, right? What have you all seen? Oh, yeah. I get sucked in. Um, I love 90 Day Fiance, just the regular. So it's OG, right? That's yeah. just like many seasons of the OG version. Yes. But then they have 90 Day Fiance before the 90 days. Of course. And it's amazing. Yes. But then and there's like this great one that airs after that called 90 Day Fiance Before the 90 Days Pillow Talk. What? <laughs> and it's all the, the 90 Day stars from previous seasons watching the episode what? and commenting on it. And it's so funny. So they're just reacting to the episodes? Reacting to the episodes. But they too were in those shoes and oh. I was reacting to them. Like I was <laughs> like, you guys are crazy. And then they're watching and they're like, these people are crazy. It's like, have you met yourselves? <laughs> Have you 90, seen your season? Yes, 90 Day <laughs> Fiance. Um, I am just like, so I'm not going to watch it. I'll tell you that much. I'll read about it. But it's just like, I, I, I knew nothing about it. I saw one sliver and then all of a sudden it like opened up a brand new world. And I'm just like, how, why, the who, what, where? When <laughs> the thing I find confusing about you saying you're not going to watch it is that you're like a reality TV junkie. Uh -huh. You love Big Brother Canada. Yeah. You're willing to give three nights a week to that. Correct. But somehow 90 Day Fiance, which like just like completely sucks you in and you get really invested. You're like, nah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, you pretty much nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Is Wednesday, which means it's SPCA Pet of the Weekday. Yeah, big thank you goes over to uh, Pet Value Eagle Ridge in downtown for helping us put this bad boy together. Misty in the studio, thank you so much for joining the program. What little fella did you bring with us today? So this little angel is Ravioli. She is a three-month-old shepherd cross. Speaking of Pet Value, she was actually on location at their paw event last weekend. So oh my if anyone came by and seen her, she's still waiting. <laughs> energetic puppy hilarious just full of fun right now it is a it's a party right now in the studio and just like her we have so many other animals waiting we are full every one of our kennels is full oh. like if you go into our cat room there's all the little mews coming from them and they're all like please come take me and all our entire k1 kennel is full so if you're really thinking about getting a friend please come and visit yeah. us at the shelter uh they're all just patient waiting patiently to enjoy the summer weather and as steph said on the radio it's going to be a beautiful couple days so <laughs> come up and walk a dog too yeah for sure and you do have so many different options i mean there's different ages if you're looking for a senior dog or a young one like this three month old or big or a little medium sized like lasagna he's still up there <laughs> <laughs> he's still little right now right <laughs> what else is happening this week so our run is friday Woo! so um we have some people signed up so registration is still open and if, even last minute if you're thinking about coming out uh, you can still register the day of we're gonna meet at the doug barnes cabin at 4 30 before we get started so any last minute runners want to come out uh Please do. You can bring a dog or you don't. If you just want to enjoy the trails, Friday's looking beautiful. So come and on is out. this a fundraiser? Yes. So all the registration fees go towards um, little pups like this. And you get a cute <laughs> t-shirt and a bandana. It's meant for dogs, but I mean, they're stylish. They're, it's like a stoplight. So <laughs> if you're at a party and you're like, I want red, like stay away. 
<laughs> it's a perfect attire. <laughs> I That's love right. it. Well, thank you so much for joining the studio here. Check out the Facebook Live so you can see a little bit of ravioli here. Got that puppy energy going on. Uh, Misty, thank you so much. <laughs> Had an extremely confusing conversation with my husband yesterday about sunflowers. Sunflowers. Right? It shouldn't have been a big deal. <laughs> a couple weeks ago, he found a packet of sunflower seeds, the ones you send away for with the Cheerios. Okay. And he was like, I'm going to plant these. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much. So he did. And then he went out of town and he said to me like, oh, you have to keep that area wet at all times. So those sunflower seeds can really like wake up and, and grow. Oh, OK. So I've been watering this this spot when I think of it. Not that often. <laughs> <laughs> and as the, the days have gone on, he's watering it, too. He's home, of course. Um but like, you know, weeds have kind of grown in and I've been looking at them like, is that the sunflower? Yeah, you're they? trying to decipher if it's growing or not or if that's just an annoying weed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I, I don't want to weed the area because I'm like, what if I pull out the thing I've been watering <laughs> every day? And yesterday I noticed these two shining plants that looked bigger than they had. And I was like, oh my goodness. This, this must be it. Yeah, they've finally come up. And so I say to my husband, I was like, wow, like, um, did you see those those sunflowers are really coming out? And he's like, yeah, I planted sunflowers there. I was like, I know. We are oh. talking about the sunflowers. They're great. They've, they've really popped up. And he's like, no, I planted sunflowers there. And I was like, yes, a few <laughs> weeks ago, I've been watering well, I them. was there. <laughs> Turns out the man replaced the seeds that didn't germinate oh. with actual sunflower plants. But it took us minutes <laughs> of him continuously saying that he planted sunflowers and not specifying that they weren't seeds. Was it very noticeable, <laughs> the difference? Uh, not really, because he didn't weed around it. So oh, there was okay. still just like a bunch of grass, but then these two great plants yeah. coming up. So I was like, this is awesome. Oh, well, yeah, I was wondering <laughs> if it was like a big difference. I was like, well, that's a big growth in one day, like from one. <laughs> day to the other uh, yeah it definitely was sticking out but because i'm so bad at like watering it was it was a few days so i was just like uh, ah, look at that but no not, yeah you're not. like look what my watering did <laughs> guy you're like no i bought new ones yeah, that's not my, you at all look at my green thumb <laughs> i was at uh, national indigenous people's day yesterday at uh, shell place mm -hmm. and i saw a mom who said that their daughter insists on listening to Mix despite her trying to change the station. Ooh, I like that. I know, I know. She was just she just likes a different style of music. She doesn't not love us. But she said the daughter said, Can we please just listen to Steph and Sean? Yes. So feeling you the can. love today, so we're gonna send it right back. Hi Rain, good morning. Yes, good morning. <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in. And just thank you so much for uh, just taking part in the station and everything and loving it as much as we do. Yeah, and insisting your mom keep it locked on Mix 103.7. <laughs> and if you, hey, if you ever are out, make sure you come say hi to us when we're on location, too. Would you rather Wednesdays? Steph, you have the perfect home, the perfect yard. You get to have a dog of your dreams, okay? Okay. Are you adopting that dog fresh, or are you getting that dog fresh as a puppy, or are you adopting it, getting it, however you choose to get the dog, uh, maybe like four years into its life? Probably about four years into its life. Yeah, why is that? Um, I think that puppies are a little bit overrated. I think they're so adorable. But the fact that somebody else is going to take the time to like house train it, teach it to sit and let it get all of its zoomies out. I'm so in for a four year old dog to come and, and lay at the end of the couch with me. Yeah, I always think puppies are always great when there's someone else like your friends because then you can always go see the puppy and you can have all the puppy fun but then you don't have to do all the grueling like training and yeah everything. the <laughs> mess cleanup and all that stuff yeah <laughs> okay sean uh with the news that owl city is going to bring back some new music yesterday i want to know would you rather only ever be able to listen to owl city for the rest of your life or choosing another little bit of an emo band, only ever be able to listen to Dashboard Confessional for the rest of your life. Oh, I'll, I'll take Dashboard, hands down. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Want more of today's show? Download the Mixed Mornings and More podcast. Now available every weekday.